Time to cross over for our sports chat. Robin Toskin is in studio. Karibu sana, good morning. And good morning too. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. So a lot has been happening over the weekend, uh, but you were saying you want to clarify what the issues are in what, FKF? Yeah, FKF uh, in the studio we have uh, Nick Mwendoa, who uh -huh. is the chairman of Karibangi Sharks. Okay. Uh, he's also the chairman of the FKF PL. Uh, the, which is the, the, the Premier League uh, belonging to the f local federation. So we've brought him here really to try to make sense out of all these bodies. There's the FKF, there's the FKF Premier League, and then there's the Kenyan Premier League. So we, uh, the, the, the public is really confused. Yeah. They don't know who is who. Who is who. Okay, so you'll be telling us about that. Also quickly, I hope you'll mention what I saw the report in the dailies yesterday, one of the dailies, about uh, what's happening in AK as well, and, you know, millions of shillings being said to have been misappropriated. Exactly. Maybe you'll also say what you we'll think about that. We'll just have a mention of that. All right, take yeah. over. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, welcome to the sports chat section of Morning Express. Uh, in the studio, I have uh, Nick Mwenda, uh, a young guy, uh, chairman of uh, Karyobangi Sharks. Uh, a lot of people have been asking, uh, really, uh, why is it that we are talking about all the people? Um, people have been there in the Kenyan football scene for so many years. Where are the young guys? But uh, to, uh, this morning, we have Nick Mwenda. Mwenda Karibu Sana. Asante, thank you, Tosti. Yes. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, you are the chairman of uh, Karyobangi Sharks. Yes. I know you are passionate about football. Yes. But yesterday you must have been uh, in the studio, uh, in the stadium, watching Gormaya play AC Leopards from Congo Brazzaville. We were actually playing uh, Guinness Shabana away, uh -huh. uh, so I went to watch my team play Guinness Shabana away uh, in Nakuru yesterday. Unfortunately, in the you FK lost that game. Yeah. And we lost the game one 0 but a fantastic game, uh, I must say, uh, against Shabana. So I, I think. I think you talked about uh, FKFPL, Kenya Premier League, and all these things that are going on. Yeah, about three bodies that uh, the public is really confused. Who is FKF? Who is FKF Premier League? And who is K uh, Kenya Premier League? And so let me clarify. Yeah. There is a society called Football Kenya Federation. That society is the one mandated to run football affairs in the country. That society, if you have a football club today, say Robin Toskin goes to uh, Ushago and creates a football club. Yes. Then the way to play with others is that you join the society so that you can become a member. Yes. Once you become a member, then you start playing the game from its low cadres upwards wow. within the, the, the structures stuff. of that society. All right? So that society is the one that does that, that job. Football Kenya Federation. Football Kenya Federation is, a, is, is the society which, which we are all members. And that if you're, if, you're a, if you're a football club, then you join it so that you can then play. Oh. It is affiliated to CAF and affiliated to FIFA. Therefore, as you play and come up, then you get to the highest league. And if you win the highest league, then you can play in Africa because they're affiliated to CAF. Then you can play... Uh, in the World Cup, then you can play in competitions recognized by FIFA. Uh -huh. That is FKF. Then we have uh, what has been the Kenya Premier League. Yes. The Kenya Premier League, uh, eight, nine years ago, was mandated by the Federation then, uh, after some scoreboards that we all know about, yeah. to run the top league. Okay? Yes. Which became the Kenya Premier League. Yes. To run it uh, as it is, is, is known around the world that most of the top leagues are run by companies. They're run by companies. Yes. So that company was mandated to run that league. So that is what has been called KPL. All right? Sure. Now there is FKF KPL, which is becoming the top organ, once again, that is being mandated by that organization to run the game. Mm -hmm. And out of all this confusion, what has happened is that KPL and FKF have had some disagreements about how they should go about their business. Mm -hmm. These disagreements emanate from, uh, as we know, the number of teams, as we know how to manage the league, and all these things that have been there. Yes. And therefore, the Federation has said, because we are the ones man mandated to run the game, uh, we would like to replace you, because, or we would like to change you, because we are not agreeing on certain things. And there's been a big scoreboard. I know, Robin, you've been involved in all this, and you know the big scoreboard about this. Sure. And so we have been requested, those clubs that were in the National Super League, right below the top league, we were requested mm -hmm. to join. 
He's so, uh, requested. Requested by the Federation. There, there because, has to because, be a process. It's not just a request. Or you've got to qualify to get You it. have to qualify in normal circumstances. Sure. But in abnormal circumstances, if the Kenya Premier League, which is mandated by the Football Kenya Federation, sure. does not agree with the Federation, then as, as members and subordinates of the yes. Football Kenya Federation, if we are requested uh, to create a league, or to join a league, then we, there's nothing we can do. Yeah, for, for your information, yes. uh, uh, FKF, the Football Kenya Premier uh, Federation, has gone to court to try and stop uh, Kenyan Premier League from organizing uh, the league. This morning, uh, maybe around 10 a.m., uh, the High Court judge will rule as to whether Kenya Premier League should continue running the league or not. I don't know. The existence of Football Kenya Premier League now yes. doesn't it add to this confusion that we are seeing? Robin, we went into an abnormal situation. The abnormal situation is that the Federation and the Premier League disagreed on certain things. Certain things including the number of teams, certain things including how uh, that league should be conducted, certain things including commercials around it, certain things that we all know what they are. Yeah. Over, over a period of three, four months, the Federation then went forth and went forward and conducted a special general meeting where they said they have severe tears with that company. Yeah. Out of those proceedings, we were requested as members to create the top league. All right? Now, we are not party to that fight. We have been requested as members, uh, Robin, yeah. to create a league. But, but someone would can. say, someone would say that yes. uh, as the younger brothers, maybe in quotes, yes. of, uh, of the top tier league, which was then Kenyan Premier League, yes. uh, you, somebody expected you to provide leadership and tell the federation, look, okay, you've requested us to come forth and become the top tier league, but then can't we do these things in a we, different way? And, look, and we have done so, and we have done so. It is not our wish, uh, Robin, to have our brothers play in another league and ourselves in another league. And we were very clear and said, you must go and agree. But the Federation came back and said, we cannot agree. And said, we cannot agree because our brothers are not listening to us. And we said, no, 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 you must go back and agree. And they had many meetings. And later, uh, they came and said, we cannot agree. And therefore, we must have a league. Mm -hmm. We cannot play without a top, a top league. The things, and it's good to, to point out, Robin, why are there disagreements? That is the question. What is the core issue? That is the question. The core issue is this. And, and if you followed uh, as a journalist, Robin, why around the world uh, companies have been created to run the game? Mm -hmm. And you followed the English Premier League, which you watch every day, sure. you will find that in 1990 and 1992, Greg Dyke mm -hmm. moved to create what is so called today the English yeah, Premier League. Sure. And they had such kind of disagreements that have led them to being as strong as they are today. But they didn't, right? they didn't uh, form two parallel companies. They were going to do it, but they saved the situation. We on the other side said, let's save the situation and have discussed this extensively with the president of the federation and with our brothers in the Premier League. We have met them, we have spoken to them, sure. and we have agreed. And even up to date, we are saying that there is still chance mm -hmm. to have one, one league. And, and even, out of this, even out of this confusion that we have, mm. we have said that we have 18 clubs now that have joined the FKF Premier League, and there's no going back on it. We have 16 clubs in the Premier League, and we have players. And you know the beauty of this, uh, Robin, what it is? We, both leagues have sponsors. So the players can now enjoy more resources mm. in our game. That's, that's a blue lining in all this. No, but, no, I'm but, saying, but I'm saying but this. That's the granted, granted, there, there's, uh, there are resources to be enjoyed. Yes. But then... Uh, 32 teams, if you have 18 plus the other 14, 32, that is uh, such a bloated league, if you ask me. It is true. But what is the solution? We must all play under one umbrella, no matter the fight we've had. It is not going to help anyone if our brothers play in a league that is not recognized. We want them to be on this side. And what we have done is that we have requested that we form two zones. Mm -hmm. Where they play in their zone as they are today, where they honor their obligations that are contractual and continue to play for this year, mm -hmm. and where we also play because we have reached where we are today and cannot go back. All right? Uh, now, when we do so, yeah. if you say it's a 32 team league, and sure. I have said this, mm -hmm. and I have requested that every, everybody now must be sober going forward, what is the solution? Our matches have been played, a sponsor has been 
found by that federation uh, to sponsor our league. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we proceed from here is the question. Uh, allow me to ask this. Yes. Uh, Kenya Premier League has been there and they have dis uh, disagreed with the federation. What, what is it that you think you can do better than the Kenyan Premier League because maybe tomorrow we'll start hearing about FKFPL again disagreeing with the Federation. It is not about doing better. Let me explain to you where the disconnect is, where the problem is. The company that is Kenya Premier League, the way it was constituted, there was not good thought in the way to incorporate the Federation uh -huh. so that they sing the same song. I'll explain to you. The Football Kenya Federation does not have a concrete role in the company that runs the top league. If you look at the English Premier League, the Football Association, okay, is, is mandated such that it has a veto over certain key things mm -hmm. within that league. So there are certain th key things in the English Premier Leagues that the clubs cannot do without consulting or without approval from the Football Association. For, for instance, Kenya Premier League, do you want to say that there's something they were doing? There is not something they were doing. It, it, is, it, is, it is the political nature of the game that was not taken care of. In this way, that the president of the Federation, for example, does not sit in the governing council of the Premier League. A simple that. So that way, the politics of the game has not been accommodated. And therefore, when the Premier League is running, when they make decisions, there is always the federation that is running and See. feeling that you're doing your own things. Uh, now, what we have done, to what we have done as Football Kenya Fer uh, Federation, FKFPL, is that we have provided for the federation to have a seat and a permanent one in our governing council. Yeah. We have further told them in this list of things. Yeah. For example, when you want to change rules, for example, when you want to change directors, when you want to do key things, yeah. they must approve it. They, right. have a, they have a voting right? They have a voting right on those matters. We have qualified. Again, you do not want to have the federation uh, meddling with your commercial affairs. Mm -hmm. All right? The, the same meddling thing with your commercial Kenyan affairs. Kenyan Premier League is saying that the but federation is meddling. With the commercial affairs? No. They're saying this. There is a contract that was signed, which we are not private to. They are saying that we want to increase the number of... And I do agree that the way the increment of teams is being done was not proper. I do agree uh -huh. that. Uh -huh. but, but then, where we have reached now, we are asking what is the core problem. And the core problem, Robin, is this. That if you have a top league, the top league yeah. and, the f and, and the federation sure. must be looking in the same direction, must go together. But the nature of the way this was constituted is making that not to happen. And we are saying that, that we are correcting those things mm -hmm. and we are allowing the Federation to have its rightful place and they will sit there and they will have a say in the things they should have a say in. Mm -hmm. They will not have a say in the things they should not have a say in. Because uh, the, the question has been, uh, Kenya, Kenya Premier League are saying that the Federation wants to meddle in their commercial affairs, especially their broadcast rights that they sign with uh, uh, Supersport International. Re press reports are saying that you've done also a deal with Azam TV from Tanzania. How will that be different then? Because if the Federation will want to, to, to interfere in your deal with Azam, let me, let me how will that impact on you? Uh, if you look at Article 17 of the FIFA Statutes, yes. the rights of the game in any country reside with the Federation. All right. Is it, All right. Is it the club rights? Not the or, club rights. Or the, the national rights. team rights? The league rights. Yes. All right. But they are normally disseminated to the entity that belongs to the clubs to run the league. Uh -huh. All right. And that is what the dispute is. The Football Kenya Federation is saying these rights, yes. as per the statutes, must come from us. So we then give them to that entity to run the league. Now, the problem is, when you do not give them certain rights that they feel that they have, yeah. that is the issue that we are facing right now. Mm -hmm. And we are saying they should not be involved in the commercials because as a society, they are not made to do that kind of a job. Mm -hmm. But we are saying that those things that are about relegation, are about promotion, are about certain rules about running the game, mm -hmm. are about changing certain key things like key directors, they need to be involved because of the political nature of the game. Now, that has not been the case, okay. and that is where the fight is. Okay. And so we are saying that when it comes to us, 
they will have a seat and we have provided a seat for them in the governing council of the FKFPL. PL. But we have also guarded our rights as clubs in terms of how much mm -hmm. can they interfere with. And it's a balancing game, and you must do it. It's done in every country in the yeah, world. Because, because, the league. because it is said that uh, the whole issue is not really about the 18 or 16 clubs, but it's about the money. That money is now flowing into the Kenyan, uh, Kenyan football. And you've rightly pointed out that you've got a deal with, uh, with, with, with a broadcaster. I, I don't know. And that's why How, I like it. What, what and that's why I like it. So in, in all this confusion, yeah. what I like about uh, our game today mm -hmm. is that there are people interested in investing in the game. Uh -huh. What we have to do is sort this out. Mm -hmm. Sort out this mess. Once you sort it out, mm -hmm. then there will be uh, more how, money. How are you but going I'm to sort that? Yeah. How we'll sort it out yeah. is to appreciate where we've reached now, uh -huh. to extend our hand yeah. to our friends, yes. and say we are the clubs. We are the owners of the game. We are the ones who vote. We are the ones who have a say. And then say to them, we have reached where we are today, and there is a problem. How to solve the problem is to come together and have one league. And that's why we are proposing two zones. Mm -hmm. That's why we're proposing two zones. Mm -hmm. And those two zones are going to prepare in one. And we have a deal, like you say. Let's, let's, let's for once imagine that maybe the High Court uh, would say, really, Kenya Premier League can go ahead and organize uh, the league. What, what would happen? We will have a station of two leagues. We will have FIFA, two leagues. Will, FIFA will come in and say, look, we cannot condone two leagues. We are going to, 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 to suspend our member federation, which is FKF. Just in a nutshell, how will that you know, impact on the Kenyan game? If the inju injunction is lifted, the yeah. Kenya Premier League will play, and we shall play. We shall two continue. leagues? Yes, we shall continue to extend our hand and say to our friends, we cannot have two leagues. Yeah. We shall say that the only solution now is for those two leagues to exist mm -hmm. under one umbrella. And mm -hmm. we have said that to our friends. And we have proposed that to say, which will continue to say so. Mm -hmm. and, and at some point, we shall agree. I can tell you, uh, Robin, mm -hmm. that by the end of this year, this situation will not prevail. It will not continue like that. Yeah, you must have read, finally, you must have read the uh, press uh, uh, issues surrounding also uh, Athletics Kenya. There's a lot of money you know, coming in. Is it, is it a sin? Is, is it, is it uh, an evil? You know, it is not an evil. Money Every in. country has gone through this process. Yeah. We are maturing as a sports nation. Mm -hmm. People now want to invest in the game. Those of us, 16 years ago, started this, didn't have anything. Today, someone is saying we can put in something. And I can tell you in the coming years, there will be more. We just need to mature in knowing how to handle this. And I think that's what is happening now. The English Premier League has many wars. And now we're going to a stage where, Robin, uh, I think you as a journalist will enjoy this. Yeah. The football players will enjoy this. And every one of us will enjoy being in this game. Thank you very much. Thank you, Robin. That Thank has you been so very much. informative. You, we hope you are going to sort out all these problems. Thank you very much, viewers, for you know staying with us and to listen to Nick Mwendo here. Hopefully, you'll get to the apex of the federation in coming years. I am not don't have those ambitions now, okay. but uh, it's our gift. It's okay. Our Thank gift. you very much, Sophia. You can take up from there. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Toskin, for joining us this morning on our sports chat. And that is your sports chat this morning. We're glad you're watching Morning Express.